Hey guys, it's me again. Today we're gonna take a look at the Studio Series Voyager Class Movie 1 Starscream. I know I have to figure for a while now, but I don't go. The band that's supposed to be on this thing is not bad at all. And if any of you are wondering about the back cable, what do you mean? It's almost like it's not there. Just like my mouse is there for my graduation. It's very accurate to the Bayfront movies. I'd say it's like the CGI model jumped out the screen, but that actually goes with the later class star screen. Why is it gonna be so expensive? As far as articulation goes, he can fully spread out his arm and do a full 360 with it. He kinda has a double jointed arm, but that's more for the transformation. And this is Walter in his hand and also a hinge joint, but that's more for the transformation, so just wait! And his legs allow him to do the splits. Ah, my wee The legs can move up that far and then back this far. And they can allow him to do a full 360, but he's gotta be doing the splits. You also get a bend on the lower leg, and you get some on the calf, and you can also do a full 360 if needed to. Also, plus you get a useless of your stomp bend. Now G1 Starscream looking here can do a full 360, and I can look up, but that's more for the transformation. <laughs> yeah, shit. I think I killed him. Now, as far as I can tell, he has like 21 or 22 points of articulation, and before I prepare because of the interpretation of Anita, he does come with one exception, which is his missile launching blade thingy that we, that we see when he attacks the dam back in 2007. Now we can move on to the transformation to manhood, I mean jet. Bro, what the heck? First, we want to unplug this thing from the back. Then, we want to unplug these things next to the nose cone, and that will allow us to fold it all under the jet wings and bring them down. Then, we can bring his head up and flip down his crotch. Play and I have to wonder, is that his pee? Don't look there unless you want me to give you a baby. Anyhow, we want to bring the nose cone up and leave it like that for the time being. Now for the arms. We want to turn the hand and fold it on the arm, on the forearm and it will plug into the tab right there. Now fold it all under the collarbone and then fold it under the head slash nose cone. And do the same for the other side. Now we bring the crotch plate back up and put this thing under Starscream's head to hide it, and now's a good time to have him laying on the ground. Now we want to straighten up these joints, and then fold it all under behind his butt. <laughs> but Now with the lower legs, we want to fold down the toes and then fold up the legs to meet the thigh so that they can plug into each other. Now with the backpack, you want to straighten out the wings so that they don't get in the way. Now push down the pat pack to meet the holes on the lower legs so that it's just flush. Then we want to bring the tail fins up. Now we're going to push the jet wings down. Make sure, every make sure everything is aligned and once you're done with that, then you have a jet mode that looks like actually very, very accurate to the actual vehicle. If you don't want it standing on its belly, then it's not being such a bird! He has three gears and you can easily fold him down so that if he's standing on that. What an awesome feature! As far as weapon storage goes, you have six holes that will plug into a port on the weapon. But I like to leave it under the wing because it's less noticeable. Do I like this figure? Yes. Do I recommend it? Only if you are either a fan of Star Scheme or a fan of this design. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna go ahead and watch Kingdom Monster. I hear that at the end, Godzilla and Monster.